Inheritance is one of the core concepts of object-oriented programming that enables an object to take on the properties and methods of another object. And this makes it easy to reuse code in different parts of an application. Here is a real example. In the last section, we define this circle object with this method, compute optimum location. Now for this discussion, let's imagine here we're working with a class. So let's imagine circle is a class and not an object. I want to explain inheritance in its classical terms. So we have the circle class with one method, compute optimum location. Let's imagine tomorrow we're going to add another class to our application called square. And square also needs this method, compute optimum location. For now, let's imagine the implementation of this method is exactly the same across these two different classes. We don't want to repeat this implementation because if there is a bug in this implementation, we have to fix it in multiple places. Or if we decide to change the implementation and make it better, again, we have to repeat this in different places. So that's when inheritance comes to rescue. We can define a new class called shape, put this method there and have circle and square inherit this method from the shape class. Now in inheritance, we have a few terms that you should be familiar with because I'm going to use these terms throughout this course. In this diagram, we refer to the shape class as the base class or super class or parent class. All these terms are exactly the same. Different tutorials and different books use different terms. In contrast, we refer to the circle as the derived class or subclass or child class. And finally, we refer to the inheritance relationship as is a relationship. So we say circle is a shape. Now, this is the classical definition of inheritance. But as you know, in JavaScript, we don't have classes. We only have objects. So that's when prototypical inheritance comes into picture. So essentially, we have two types of inheritance, classical and prototypical. And that's one of the topics for interview questions. So what is a prototypical inheritance? That's the topic for the next lecture.